Hello everyone, it's Vinny here from Football Sheds. In today's episode, I'm here to talk about the Old Firm Derby, which ended up in a defeat for the Rangers. Well, my thoughts on the game was, we lost, but we lost with some sort of dignity. And the funny thing is, we had started the game with 11 men, and funny enough is that one of our players, particularly, behaved himself really, really, really bad, and conceded an own goal against his own team, and um, he was just doing everything wrong. Who am, I, who am I talking about? Yes, everybody knows. John Lundstrom. If there is somebody to be blind for the defeat today, it's Lundstrom. And I say what? Well, the opposition, you know, the East End hosts, they didn't even put a decent effort to win a game. They could score a ridiculous goal, conceded by a very pathetic defensive build-up, but in a fair play because... They made a very patient and consistent build-up, you know, with good passes. And their defensive tactical with the blockings were explicit. I have to give a shout-out and a fair play to um, Liam Scales for that. You know, I have to be unbiased in this analysis. But anyway, it was a very narrow result. And um, the hosts, you know, the East End mob, didn't do much. We could have draw, but John Lundstrom just scored a goal against his own team that was really weird and of course we had a referee which openly supports Celtic and he already admitted that you know so what's the point of just having a Celtic fan a guy who has a team to blow the whistle in a derby like this this is absolutely ridiculous you know but this is a decision which only the SFA could have made and um, we can't blame Philip Clement we can't blame the rest of the team they did their job but we had somebody in our own team which just screwed up everything he could and just got an own goal against his own teammate. This is absolutely like atrocious, you know. But we fought back. We imposed ourselves, you know. We lost with some dignity, unlike the latest, you know, the last old firms, which we just like open space and just considered because, you know, we didn't show quality, not even to the fan, but this time, at least um, the improvising which the team had to had to do after Lundstrom was sent off was just like um, was effective. It was a effective defensive improv improvise, which resulted like with Rangers not conceding goals. They just conceded the goals, which was ruled off by um, offside. But beside that, mate, only two one. We could have draw one one, but that's it. You know, like I said some weeks ago with realism, not pessimism, realism, the league is over, of course. It's one more season, which we could have made a difference, we could have made something, but we just bottle it. We started the season with a terrible manager, screwed our budget, hired and just contracted terrible players, and by the end of the day, we screwed up everything and we could recover, but then we just went backwards again, losing important games at home, you know, and now is it, mate, that's finally over, that's it. A season which was like supposed to be a very good season just ended up in a second place for Rangers. As usual, you know, so um, it's pretty much it. It's always the same pitch, mate, you know. Early summer, disappointment and all that shit. Don't forget that these videos are sponsored by uh, the Shirt Guy UK. Link in the description right here. Hit like button, subscribe. We're Rangers, except Rangers, no one likes us and we don't care. And we hate ourselves. You know, even ourselves don't like ourselves. Football shirts.